So we're here with my wife and the family, as you can see in the back. We're just here at the Pullman. And uh, this is our second hotel in Fiji. We're just checking out some venues here in Fiji. And we went to Mummy Bay, Marriott, the very first one, and now we're in the Pullman. So your thoughts between the two? It's tough. Mummy Bay is beautiful. It's this gorgeous place. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's what you would imagine Fiji would be. The huts over the water, the aqua water, these fish. But it was a really big letdown. The main reason is service. The service at that place wasn't very good. It just felt like there was a lot of busyness, but not a lot happening. A lot of people were working there and they would kind of see you, but then divert their eyes and not look at you and continue to walk away. And it's very easy to see if somebody needs help, if they're looking for some food, they're looking for directions, they are having problems with their cutlery, helping with their children. They'd notice it, but then walk away. They'd go and tell people, oh, sit down, I'll be right with you. And then you'd see them sneak off and run away and leave people sitting there. And to me, that doesn't sit right. And so the contrast, I already did a video on that, which was about, you know, first impressions are amazing, but then it doesn't create a lasting impression if the service is not there. The reason why we're mentioning this is that it's not, you know, obviously not doing a hotel critique, but it's just about, you know, with regards to your practice and your business is that it's not just about one thing that makes everything works, right? I mean, you got to do everything. It's, you know, one thing could let you down. Like in Momi Bay, I think the service just let them down. Anything, if their service was just upped it up by a couple of notches, I think they could have won me over. But uh, because the service was so poor, that lasting impression leaves a little bit of a sour taste in terms of what it could have been. Did you go there again? I don't think so, unless I was, you know, invited to go there for a particular event with them. But I wouldn't be going there myself. I I wouldn't trust it to run my own event, unfortunately. And so that's one of the reasons why. It's just because of the service. Because I, you know, I really want to make sure service is a number one key to in my business. That's the big thing for us. Is because when we hold events and we look at venues and things, it's whether or not the service is going to align with us. Because at the end of the day, whoever you decide to pair up with, be it massage therapists or other practitioners, if they're not lifting their game to the same level of what you want people to perceive your brand to be, then that's a problem because they will get a bad impression, they will leave a bad taste in their mouth, and they will assume that is the entirety of you. And that's something we don't want. We want to align ourselves with organizations or venues that make us look good. Like, honestly, it takes the work off of us, they make us look good and everybody has a great time. But if, if the service is substandard or the facilities aren't nice, People walk away going, I didn't really enjoy that event, even though it had nothing to do with us. We were just in, we, we drank some water, and uh, we just put the glasses down. And I was, I would say about an hour later, we came back to the same spot, and the glasses were still there. Now, you might not think that's a small little thing, but I think about from a hotel guest perspective, is that you see empty glasses sitting there, and it's not picked up. That just shows you the culture that's there, that main, you know, person, any staff walking by, so it was the front area, so it's not like there's no staff. There. You know what, that's what I noticed, is that people there, if it wasn't within their job description, they didn't do it, they looked at it and saw it, and then was like, it's not my job, and walked off. Whereas here, I've seen so many people go out of their way to do things that I know not, aren't necessarily within their job description. That's what makes a difference. You want people who will take the ability to go and do it right away versus looking for it to be like, well, it's not written down for me. I don't need to touch it. Like everybody, doesn't matter if you're front of staff, back of staff, you should be making sure it's a good experience for everyone. And my last thing in point is this. Number one is that service is really critical. Service is absolutely impeccable, needs to be there as on top of the aesthetics. And I think if you have the aesthetics that and the service that's aligned with who you are, as a business, then all of a sudden you're going to be able to make the massive changes. That's the key. Everything has to be in alignment. If it's not in alignment, then your business is not going to come off as how you hope it to be, and the clients are never going to experience it that same way. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, that subscribe button, you should press it. And because I want to share videos with you just like this one to help you grow your practice.